हेलो फ्रेंड्स अशोक जादो वेलकम्स यू एस यू आर वॉचिंग पैशन ट्रॉनिक माई यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स वी हैव बिन स्टडिंग बेसिक सर्किट एनालिसिस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी स्टडीड सेरीज सर्किट देन प्रोपोर्शनल वोल्टेज फार्मूला एंड वन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दैट दैट इज वोल्टेज डिवाइडर टूडे वी विल स्टडी पैरल सर्किट ऑल्सो ओपन एंड शॉर्ट इन सेरीज सर्किट देन प्रपोर्शनल करंट फॉर्मूला फॉर पैरल सर्किट एंड लास्टली वी विल डिस्कस ओपन एंड शॉर्ट इन पैरल सर्किट लेट अस मूव टू दैट see that i have shown you here a uh, one simple series circuit and here we want to discuss open in series circuit here i have taken r1 r2 in series and uh, a one voltage source 10 voltage source is applied uh, across that series combination uh, wait wait see that this is r1 r1 r2 and this is the voltage source now we want to discuss when open occurs somewhere because of some loose contact right uh, if suppose that open can occur anywhere here 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 anywhere now if there is a open suppose these are the two points say a and b and open occurs there open means infinite resistance so when there is a infinite resistance the current immediately becomes zero and you know that voltage difference across any component which is given by current into resistance as current becomes zero there is no potential difference across any resistance no potential difference across r2 and therefore no difference means the two terminal of resistance will be at same voltage level and therefore this 10 volt line will straight available here same no difference here no difference in voltage here so here you'll see 10 volt and this negative terminal via this i mean uh, this wire Would reach to the P. That means the effect of open is such that the first we have seen that is current becomes zero, and second that entire voltage, entire supply voltage appears here. That means uh, complete power supply. That is, if it is ten, ten will appear here. If it is twenty volt, twenty will appear there. So this is the effect of open. You can say. now let us consider uh, short in series circuit and for that i have taken uh, one example here that a uh, uh, resistance r1 r2 r3 and to which a 12 volt source is applied and this is series circuit so this is the figure a where all the three resistor 1 ohm 2 ohm and 3 ohm are in intact okay in figure b if we put short across this 3 ohm this the short and short has 0 ohm resistance and you know that when 0 ohm resistance bypasses any resistance so this 3 ohm get bypass it becomes resultant value becomes zero and therefore in circuit you are left with only 1 ohm and 2 ohm so when there is a short across any particular resistance the total resistance of this circuit decreases and therefore the current supplied by the source will increase and that will cause more power delivery from the source to the resistor so more power will be delivered in figure c uh, if there is a short across this Two resistors, two ohm and three ohm. So B D, there is a zero ohm, and therefore there is no resistance, zero value, and therefore in circuit 
only one resistance is left and that is one ohm in this case the current will be large and power delivered by the source will be large so when there is a short short has zero resistance and a large current will flow through the short and the circuit draws more power from the device and there is no current to the shorted resistance see that when you short any particular resistance the current flows through short only and this component is not damaged so this is about uh, the short in series circuit now let us consider numerically let us analyze this okay see that in the first case this is a figure a and uh, 12 volt supply we have three resistors and therefore you can easily find out the current flowing through this circuit so current i here current i equal to using ohms law total voltage upon total resistance so here we have 12 volt source and total resistance that is 1 2 3 therefore divide by 1 plus 2 plus 3 so that gives you 12 volt divided by 6 ohm and you get 2 ampere current so the current supplied by this supply in this case will be 2 ampere only okay and uh, corresponding power you know that power can be expressed as a voltage into current so 12 volt into 2 ampere will give 24 watt okay so you got here uh, 2 ampere right now let us consider the second figure figure b where we have uh, we put short across this 3 ohm and therefore this 3 ohm resistance will become zero and therefore the current in this case will be see here current is again follow the ohms law total voltage upon total resistance now 3 is bypassed now and therefore only resistance left is 1 and 2 therefore the resistance will be 12 volt upon 1 plus 2 that is 3 ohm right and that gives you 4 ampere see here in the previous case it was a 2 ampere now here it is 4 ampere current in this case okay and naturally as current has increased therefore the power delivered voltage into current will be 48 watts in this case now consider the third case in case of figure c there is a short across this bc point uh, sorry bd point and therefore 2 ohm and 3 ohm are bypassed they become zero and therefore only resistance left here is 1 ohm and the source is 2 ohm and therefore in this case the current will flow 12 volt upon only 1 ohm so that would be 12 ampere and this is a very large current in this case very large power will be delivered to the load or that circuit as you see here it comes out to be 144 watt so this is the effect of short and therefore shorts must be prevented in circuit because short decrease the circuit resistance and that increases the more current draws more current and if that current is not controlled that may damage the circuit and power supply so this is about open and short in series circuit friends let us study proportional current formula for parallel circuit see that here i have taken simple circuit a uh, parallel circuit having two resistors only and uh, right uh, this is a yes r1 r2 two parallel resistors and uh, voltage vt is applied across this parallel combination and see that i is the main branch current and supply current it is coming to this junction and then we have branching currents i1 and i2 so for parallel circuit you know that the voltage difference across all the component remains same 
only thing is that the branch current depends upon the resistance in particular branch right and that's why uh, actually our aim is to get simple formula for getting the current in particular branch and you need to know only the incoming current to this junction and the values of two resistors so with this thing thing uh, you can get a simple i mean we can compose a simple formula and using that you can get current branch current in a single steps uh, let us see as i said for parallel circuit this vt is equal to the voltage across r1 that is equal to voltage across r2 so this is v1 equal to v2 so this follows from the parallel circuit but using ohm's law this total voltage vt can be expressed as using ohm's law the current supplied by this uh, battery and the effective value of this resistance so, so irt equal to i1 r1 i2 r2 so we want the expression for this rt this resistance when two resistor comes in parallel and the net resistance is given by the that formula that is product upon sum so this is a rt and let us take this much part of this equivalence a left part lenge i r t equal to i1 r1 if i take it like here and if i substitute rt value see that i is there then instead of rt i am using this and this i1 r1 as it is right then this is simple algebraic expression here r1 will get cancelled with r1 and what is left i1 equal to i r2 upon r1 plus r2 so the expression for the current i1 is like this right in the same way if i if i take this i r t equal to i 2 r 2 and then using r t as this you will get the expression for i 2 as i r 1 upon sum of the resistors. So, from this uh, you can see that i 1 what is I1? This branch current, right? That can be expressed as incoming current to the junction into resistance. Agar aapko I1 chai the resistance in opposite branch. Uske saamne jo resistor hai, ule na R2 ya. And divide by R1 plus R2, that means sum of two parallel resistors like this. Similarly, for I2, what we get? The incoming current into for I2, ye I2 ki liye R1 lena hai, R1 lena hai. Our rest of the thing is the same, common for both of this formula. So, by having close look at these two expressions, you can get a generalized expression that any branch current, I branch can be given by I approaching current to the junction, incoming current to the junction into resistance in opposite branch. Agar aapko I1 chahiye to R2 lena hai aur I2 chahiye to R1 lena hai. That is the resistance in opposite branch upon sum of branch register. And by using this formula instantly you can find out current flowing to the particular branch. And this is a, this is called proportional current formula for parallel circuit. So, let us go to the next and the last part of this unit. Uh, let us discuss open in parallel circuit. So, here you see I have taken R1, R2, two parallel resistors 
and then we have connected here uh, one source this is parallel circuit so open can occur in main line matlab ye resistor intact hai ye resistor intact hai so there is only one open main line means it goes from the source and from that there is a, this network so open can occur here or open can occur in particular branch this branch or this branch so let us discuss one by one open means once again infinite resistance so wherever there whenever there is a open there will be no current and when there is a open you get entire battery voltage the total voltage will appear here what is total voltage in this case vt so this is the first case that is for main line so uh, when open occurs in main line no current flows through the circuit and entire source voltage appears across the open then when open occurs in a branch no current flows through the branch suppose here this is closed and this is also closed only one open yaha open hai so current will flow in other component other parallel component and current will not flow through this branch but as you can see if there is open the current in other branch increases so open can occur in this or in this also or uh, here the picture can be like this this is closed this is closed and this is open in this case there will be no current in this branch and the large current will flow through this branch and if both are in intact there is no problem so we are discussing open only when there is open no current flows through that so let us move on to the uh, next uh, next part now let us discuss short in parallel circuit and for the discussion purpose i have taken resistance r1 r2 r3 in parallel and there is a voltage source connected across this parallel combination now suppose if you put a short across ab which is across r3 but look at this this positive term the source is connected to r1 r2 and r3 this negative term is connected to r1 r2 and r3 that means that they are parallel and so by shorting r3 you are not only shorting r3 but you are also shorting r2 you are also shorting r1 that means the total resistance all the resistance are shorted and short has resistance equal to 0 ohm so you are shorting the source as if you are shorting the source and therefore very large current will flow and if this current is not controlled the wires may get heated and wires will burn down so it is very important in parallel circuit that no component should get shorted you have to be very careful no component should be shorted the other part is that uh, shorted components are not damaged they are safe here right but you are shorting the power supply large current will be drawn large power will be drawn and wires will burn down so uh, this is all about short and open of parallel circuit and uh, i think we have covered all the points from the unit 1 basic circuit analysis and i am sure that you have understood all the concept and if you have any difficulty if you have any confusion don't worry my huna ask me and i think it is time to stop here see you next time love you all bye mm -hmm.